The world of Marvel is vast and universe spanning, and in the event of Empire, it brings these worlds together and not in a kumbaya kind of way. What would a Marvel event be without two or more powerhouse teams battling it out, yet alone five in total? Pits Avengers alongside the newly rediscovered Kotati led by Koye, an alien plant-based society on the moon's surface. Fantastic Four alongside the Skrulls and the Kree now united by Hulkling who is crowned Emperor Dork VIII who is the new wielder of the Space Sword aka Excelsior Sword which has the powers to be distinguished between friend or foe. Both sides battle it out in a force of supremacy and downright dirty deeds thanks to the death blossoms poised by the Kotati which plants consume the animal life forms that once consumed them. We are also introduced to old forgotten characters and introduced to a new one as well. Dark Raider was from 1939 and died in Hell of Bullets decades ago. Then you have the Swordsman, a long lost Avenger who melted in front of Hawkeye at one point in time and is now a plant based clone. Then you have the new Profiteer, who is the sister of everyone's favorite Grandmaster from Thor Ragnarok. In this event, you have new hammer users as well. She Hulk's hammer is able to fuse with her rage. Captain Marvel is now the supreme accuser and Thor is able to use his hammer to have Iron Man put a virus on and cripple a complete Korean scroll fleet. Then finally you have these new vehicles that came into pass. Ghost Rider is able to transform any vehicle he has into a Ghost Rider, aka a spacefaring Quinjet. And then you have my personal favorite, a Black Panther Gundam, which was used to take out a Kotati behemoth. All in all, a weird yet entertaining event that spans eons of timelines. Now let's see what Heroclix came up with for the epic galactic event in the new Marvel Heroclix Avengers Fantastic Four Empire. Let's go ahead and do the legacy card. See what we get out of here. Now, most of the ones out of this legacy card we already own. So it'll be interesting to see what we get here. And we have here Namor. Oh, look at that. That's from um, Secret Invasion, I believe. See, Avenging Sun, Atlantic Rejuvenation. All of the ocean's creatures bow to the will of the King of Atlantis. That's pretty cool. I'll have to take a look more at this card later. 150 points man i don't remember this this character even though i probably have him somewhere anyways let's carry on we'll put him in the back here not bad all right first booster i am sorry i'm just now getting over a cold that i had oh right off the bat we have human torch Jean gray jubilee uh anoe and the super rare Rogue, that is really nice. We'll take a look at her later. Second box. Now, you guys saw the beginning. Tell me what you guys think about this new set and if they did it justice. Okay, so we have here already, you're off the nub. I bet again, a super rare Wolverine. We got a uh, Golden Oldie, which is Aunt May. We have the Black Bolt. We have the new Supreme Accuser. And it looks like just a Grease Spy or scroll spy. That's pretty cool. Nice. Already two super rares, which means the rest, well, let's just hope for something good. And also again, uh, if you would, please stay, stay till the end. We have a special announcement that we're going to be doing. And you definitely going to want to see that. All right, man, again, another good rare. We have the Deadpool. We have Wiccan. We have, is that Jean Grey again? Yeah, it is. We've got the Loki, and we have my boy in blue, Spider-Man. Very nice. Love that Deadpool. That is really cool. So a lot's been going on this holiday season and these past few months for us that we actually do want to have a surprise for all of you guys who have been dedicated to us. We have something in store for all of you. Please. Be prepared for some awesomeness later on this year. Okay, we have Hulkling. I believe that is the Venomized Cyclops. Yes, it is. So I'm happy about that one. We have a Kree Soldier. We have Princess Veronica. I think she's, yeah, she's just a rare. And we have the She-Beast She-Hulk right here. She's, she is a big girl. Next up, let's see. Oh, the glue was right there. Uh, also, we'll take a look right here at the Play at Home kit. You might have seen the Wolverine in the thumbnail pick. Oh, that's cool. So we did get the Human Torch. That was one there. That's the Jim Hammond one. We have Iron Man. We have Supreme Accuser. We have Daredevil. And we have a Scroll Spy. Not bad. Really wanting that Magneto, Venomized Magneto, looks really, really cool. 
I would just like to have him because he just, like I said, he just looks really cool. You can't beat that coolness. Oh, this one's kind of damaged. Okay, so we have Monica Rambeau. We have uh, Saban Thing, Normal Cyclops, and Agent May. So there's that one. Again, we have the Play at Home kit, which has that special Wolverine in it, along with two maps. Uh, we probably aren't going to open up the uh, starter kit because everyone's already seen it already. Okay, so we have Beast, Thing, a Kree sol Soldier. We have a, a Brawn. And we have Sunspot, which Sunspot, man, that Sunspot looks so amazingly cool. Still haven't got a chase. So it means we still have a chance for that Magneto. Maybe even that Thor. That Thor is pretty cool. Okay, so we have Ghost Rider. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. We got the Hulk as war. Oh, that is way wicked cool. Taskmaster, I was really wanting him. We got the Invisible Woman, and we have the Storm, who I think... Well, he's obviously the chase, but I think... Is it Taskmaster? Taskmaster might be the rare, but this, is this Holt just a, he's got to be a chase, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, Taskmaster is the rare, and then we have the Hulk as war, as our chase. That's really cool. I've only seen maybe one other of him. So, there's our chase. We might still get lucky and get a, um... A prime out of here which would be nice but I think something is broken in here and loose so let's see what we have here oh cool so we have we have the Hulkling who is actually a uh, Emperor um, what was it Dord Vaughn oh who is that oh it's Quicksilver he fell off his base not a big deal not a big deal and for some reason our spider-man has pink on his armpit that's very weird, but we do have that Hulkling with the, the um, actually it's called the Excelsior Sword, but with copyright infringement laws and everything, now they call it the Space Sword. You know, because of old Stan Lee, they can't have anything with Stan Lee anymore, which is a bummer. The Excelsior Sword is so much cooler than All right, last one. Let's make it something good. Oh, there we got, we got the Chaka the second. Awesome. So we have T'Chaka the second as our prime. That is not a bad prime, guys. That is really cool. We have, uh, what is that? Uh, Dazzler, Beast, Wolverine, and Daredevil. Not bad, way to end it. We'll take a closer look at those rares and stuff later. If you guys haven't seen it yet, here is the Play at Home kit. I've already obviously opened it for the thumbnail. We'll go ahead and take a look at this one more time. If you guys haven't had a chance to see it, this is what you get inside. It is a Wolverine. Uh, don't really know much about this Wolverine. I didn't look much into it when it was revealed when Scott Porter did it. But it states here, that's what's happened when you scuffle with old knuck Knucklehead. At the beginning of your turn, heal Wolverine one click and roll a d6. From 4 through 6, he'll one-click for each distinct printed team ability shared by Wolverine and all other, all adjacent friendly characters. Wow, so he can heal, like, a lot. When you've got all these teams here, I mean, uh, you've pretty much uh, sealed your fate with this one. He can live forever. Charge, Flurry, Stealth. When he's also got the Fantastic Four team ability, the Avengers team ability, the X-Men team ability. Good lord. And look at that dial. He has nine clicks of health, and then you give him that ability, and it's a traded ability, so I mean, he has it his whole dial. He can just live forever. I would not want to play up against this one. That, it, that would just be nasty. So that's what you get for the Play at Home kit, is this nice little Wolverine right here. And then for maps, let's see what we get for maps, shall we? Okay. See, it's been so long since I've even seen these, I forgot what they even were. So, we have here Manhattan Bridge Outdoor. And the other one looks like it's going to be some kind of indoor map. 
It's Hank Pym's Lab Indoor. And tell us what you think of these. Also, at home, tell us what you think. You think Heroclix did a good job of representing this new set, this new Empire set that came out. Again, uh, don't miss out on this. You've also got this right here. It's their big starter set. That they have that came out with 10 figures here map pieces dice everything you need even the rules so don't miss out don't miss out what hero clicks is bringing out to you guys at the beginning of this year which is really cool it's nice for them to even though it's supposed to, this is late coming out it's still really nice to have this at the very beginning of the year for new players newcomers alike they can actually learn how to play the game and get to enjoy it all year long tell us what you think and you think if Hero Clicks actually did a good job representing this. Now, for the good news, we would like to let you guys know that Primal Nerds is leveling up. We are now Primal Nerds LLC. We have rebranded. We are reimagining the way Primal Nerds is. We want to bring you more footage, more games, and everything else that you guys like as nerds, just like we do. And we're going to bring it to you in the new year of 2022. And this will be the year of the nerd. Be prepared to see more from us. And as always, later nerds.